Hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And yes, I did not feel like putting on um, the camera lighting or anything like that. I'm just filming from my phone without anything. So, yeah. Um, but this is not going to be too long a video. I'm just kind of going over the Olympic events that I've checked out this weekend. Oh, also the women's soccer, aka women's football. They have advanced even further, so that we got that. And then I have an event that I'm going to next Saturday to watch some more Olympic coverage. Because if you, especially if you're somewhere here in like Chicago or any type of sports like major city, you can go to bars, restaurants, wherever, and they'll have watch parties. So I'm probably gonna go to a watch party next Saturday. I went to a watch party last Sunday to watch the women's soccer. And Trinity Robin, she's just been killing it. She's been killing it. So um, that's kind of the other update that's going on. Um, but yeah, I'll be back and I'll, um, I'm going to, you'll, you'll see soon about some of the other things that are happening. Um, oh, by the way, I'm filming this on the Sunday. So um, I'm not going to be able to keep up with everything because there's just so much Olympic stuff going on. And it's actually such a distraction, <laughs> a little too much of a distraction because I'm like so engro engrossed in it. But yeah, that's what's been happening. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about the men's 100 and in, um, 100 meter final or anything else that has taken place. Let's talk about how the mix four by four played out. My reaction while I was watching it live with my friends, they were like, wow, she was doing a lot. Because I was annoyed that Fem Cabal like caught us and ended up having the Netherlands win. And I was making fun of her voice, but anyone who's watched her, um, yeah, she kind of has, she sounds like Mickey Mouse when she talks. And, um, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I was just disappointed that the United States didn't win that event because we had a substantial, well, I would say at the second slash third leg, we had a good lead, but I knew that, I have a feeling how that the anchor took off and set the world record at the, um, the round, like one of the rounds. I think that was a bad idea. She should have held that in for, I don't know, the final. Um, and maybe that would have done something and there would have been a difference because she clearly ran out of gas towards the end and Fem Cabal caught her and then the Netherlands won. So that was one thing that happened with the mix 4x4. Four four. Um, the other thing that happened with track and field is um, Ryan Crowder won for shot put and then Joe, um, what's his name? Joe, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. I'll put it in the screen but um, he got silver. So that really wasn't shocking. Um, and then I think someone from Jamaica might got bronze. Um, I didn't really watch the event itself. I just saw the opening ceremony just a little bit ago because I'm watching the coverage today because um, I missed it when it was happening because <laughs> I was at a bachelorette party last night. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of now just getting together. Um, anyway. So the other major thing that happened was um, Kate Ledecky, she won um, her race again um, in the 400, not 400, the 800. Um, I forgot what, I think it might be freestyle, but I don't think it's that. But anyway, she's showing that she's still one of the greatest women swimmers, U.S. women swimmers out there. So... So she added more to her collection. And I mean, she's been doing the Olympics. She's been in the Olympics for a long time. Um, she's, and she's still pretty young. Um, but she started being in the Olympics when she was still a teenager. So she still has a lot left to her. Um, but anyway, so besides that, the other, I think, notable thing that happened for the Olympics was, and I'm, I'm kind of reserving it for last. And I have one more thing after this to talk about. Um, but it was... Um, the women's 100 final. Let's talk about it. Um, for those who don't watch track and field, you're probably going to be disappointed that um, 
Shakari Richardson did not get gold. She got silver. That's still good. That's still good. And then um, Melissa Jefferson, man, she's been proving that she's gotten so much better. Um, and that's her teammate. She got bronze. So we still, we still had US in there, but the gold didn't happen. And for those who don't watch, you probably think, oh, a Jamaican took that. No. No. Julian Alford, who's St. Lucian, took it and dominantly took it. And honestly, if Sharika Jackson would have been healthy and been in this race, that would have been interesting to see. I'm not sure who would have won that, but I think even Julia Afford would be her too. But maybe not. I don't know. Because Sharika Jackson, for those who don't know, she was kind of the main contender for both the um, 100 and 200 for Jamaica, and she's out. Um, she, she withdrew from both, like, she's not... I don't think she's competing in the Olympics at all this year. Jamaica just kind of been playing. The, the sprinting women have all been kind of plagued with injury. The only one who's there is Shelly Ann Fraser Price. But, you know, this is her last hurrah. Um, this is kind of a retirement tour. So she's not really, she's a threat, but she's not a threat, if, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, because she wasn't even in the final, I don't think. Yeah, she wasn't even in the final, so... Um, they'll probably have her do the relay so that she gets one more, you know, gets contention for one more um, medal. And I don't know if she's in the 200 or not. We'll find out next week because um, I did not follow the other countries' Olympic trials to figure out who's who's all there. Um, and even if you're at the Olympics, it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you'll get to the final. So that's a whole other thing. But... Um, yeah, for those who don't watch, though, Julian Alfer, she has been on a tear. She's been on a tear. Um, she's kind of been someone to look out for this whole entire time. And honestly, if you watch the U.S. Olympic trials with Shakari Richardson, her start has been not good. And they even alluded to it, and I even was thinking it too while I was watching the Olympic trials and how she was starting. I'm like... She needs to clean up that start. She's going to be in contention of anything. Um, and unfortunately, that start still wasn't cleaned up. And honestly, that probably is what cost her the gold. Because I think if she would have had a good start, I think she could have gotten gold. It's just she does this start where she sidesteps. Is is also slightly, it was very obvious for one of the events that um, one of the um, um, races that she did earlier this year. I'm sorry, I'm cleaning up my hair a little bit. But she does it kind of every time. It's never a just straight thing. And it's just due to her running style. Um, you know, she runs so much different as a sprinter than like mostly anyone else. Um, the way she's built is different. Um, so yeah, her and her coach are going to work on that. I'm pretty sure she'll still be the anchor for like the 100 um, relays. So she is... She is, she's time to get more medals. Um, I don't remember if she even is in the 200. I don't think she is, though. I'm almost positive she's not. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But, um... Hey, so, again, I already mentioned before, I do not feel, feel like setting up a camera or anything like that, so the lighting's probably going to be a little bit off in this video. But I'm not going to be on here very long. I did just get finished, finally watching and I am tired. You can tell I'm tired. Yeah, I'm definitely tired. <laughs> um for those who don't know, I I went to about I was I was part of a bachelorette party yesterday and it did not disappoint. <laughs> it was a good time. But um anyway, so um I finally watched the men's one hundred meter final and Jesus it was traumatic. It was dramatic. So dramatic. Um, one thing I will say is they didn't disappoint to make it feel important. Like that, I want to give France all their flowers for because for so many times, I feel like track and field does not get respected, at least here in the United States. It's not really respected enough, in my opinion, as some of the other sports. Like they, like we know, we know the pay range in the United States for these track and field athletes are not going to be like they are for like the NBA and all these other things. And that's another subject for another day. 
but the rest of the world, they take it seriously. So we saw that today. Um, so they made it where it was like a whole entire thing. I'm sorry if I'm fixing my hair, but you know, for those who've seen me with the blonde before, this is what I do a lot. But anyway, um, okay. So then besides that, um, the other thing that was kind of, I guess I'm bringing that up to say, I'm sorry, I just kind of like lost my thought for a second. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is that start, they took forever to start to the point where I actually, because again, I'm not watching it live. I went back and watched it and I tried to, I haven't been on the internet all day because I've been trying to avoid spoilers. So um, I did, I really didn't even know who won until I watched just now, <laughs> um, which is way late, but I am. Um, Fast forward, I, I ended up having to fast forward the time between them finally being on the field, I mean, on the track to the start. It Like they still had the lights, so they, like they were the, festi the festivities were festivitying and they just kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Like it was like, oh my gosh, okay, we get it. Like it's important to the point where we saw Noel Lyles like, he was like, come on, wrap it up. And everyone, even the commentators had something to say about it too, because it was giving team too much. Like, okay, like sprinters are already antsy and especially like the hundreds, like that is like one of the most known, like that's the false starts happen a lot in that particular event. Because people want to get it over with. Let's wrap it up. And, I, and to my surprise, there was no false start. So maybe that delay worked. But I think it might mess some of the athletes up. Like, for example, Kung Fu Kenny was nowhere to be found. I thought he was going to make the podium this year. And he, I think, was like in sixth place. But it was a tight finish. Like, everyone was like back to back to back to back to back. And Noah, Noah Lyles, he did it. He did it on him. That confidence talking, that eh, 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 it worked. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But and it was all by a hundredth of a second, though. Um, another Jamaican, his Thompson, he thought he beat him. And you couldn't tell because, you know, they had to go to the tape. So, like, it it took a minute for them to figure it out. And it turned out he didn't. Um, so he got silver. And then Fred Curley. He got bronze. You know, his season this year has been kind of shaky. He's had a lot of weird, random, quirky incidences has happened. Really, ever since the World Championships two years ago at Eugene, he really hasn't been quite up to par. Um, but he made up for it. He, he got on the podium. So we have two Americans and Jamaican. And then the reigning Olympic champion, um, Jacobs, from um, Italy... He was nowhere to be found either. Um, and I think he actually injured himself because he was iced up and like taped up right after the race. I don't know if he like tore his hamstring or what. I mean, it seems like that's what it was, but who knows. Um, but yeah, that was, I finally got to see it. And wow, it did not disappoint. Um, Lastly, I forgot to mention. So for the women's um, gymnastics, um, Simone Biles, um, she... I think I mentioned in my video before, but she did get gold for the women's overall. Um, not overall, um, women's all around. So she got gold in that while Soon Lee got the bronze um, for that. And then um, I don't know the lady's name who from Brazil who got silver, but it was, it was, it was OP. It was, it was, a, it was POS all, all day, like just... The mel the melanin was melanining when it came to like that that event and the reason why I'm kind of making that point to say is I've been someone who's watched Olympics all my life and gymnastics used to look way different when I was little like my Simone Biles was Dominique Dawes and she was like the only one and now to see what the sport is looking like today chef's kiss and it's not just with the united states like you're seeing it globally you're seeing a whole bunch of other women of color like 
I mean, whether you're, you know, African descent or not, that's, I, I don't care about that. I just love that there's more representation across the board when it comes to women's gymnastics, because it, it did not look like that in the 80s and 90s. So I will say that. Um, also, too, the other notable thing that happened, um, Simone Biles, right now she has three gold medals. So they got the team gold medal. Um, and then also, I just mentioned the other thing, the all around. And then she did also get a gold in um, the vault. So she added that. And then Soon Lee has another bronze. So she has a gold and two bronze. And she got um, the um, bronze in the uneven bars. So there's that. Um, I'm not sure what the results are yet. And I don't think the results have came out yet for the other events. Because I think there are other events. Um, as in like, um, I think, I don't think the balance beam is came up. I think the balance beam is tomorrow. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we would have saw? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yep. Yep, that's pretty much it um, when it comes to the women's gymnastics. Because um, I finally got a chance to watch that too. <laughs> I've been trying to get caught up on watching all this Olympic stuff. And for those who are just doing this by watching it live, God bless y'all. I, I don't have enough time to be able to do that. And I eat in this wild too, because back in 2012, was probably really the last time I was so invested in the Olympics where I was watching it at all times. And that was before there was like streaming services like Peacock and stuff like that. Looking back, I don't know how I did that. And I was working and I was training and that's when I was running like my best and stuff. So I was like training, training. I was running probably about <clears throat> 60 to 70 miles a week along with working, working at the gym and, um, still hanging out with friends but most of my friends i was hanging out with we were literally going to each other's house just to watch olympics <laughs> so we kind of put like our social life on a pause and made it right the social life is going to be surrounded about the olympics and then we'll get back to the regularly scheduled program once this olympics is up because most of my friends and i mean clearly that hasn't changed our runner friends and we're all into sports like when it comes like olympic sports especially running um so yeah anyway um i'm adding this in at the end so yeah it did not disappoint um i'll come back probably uh, i want to try to keep track of all the other track and field events but i can't keep filming every day for all this stuff because it's team too much um like I haven't watched, I, I haven't watched any of the other gymnastic stuff yet. I just haven't had the time. Like I still have my normal life. I do. Like I have friends. I have things I'm, I got going on. I, I'm doing my own training. So speaking of Olympics, like I'm still doing my own training to make sure I'm ready for my own race, along with you know day to day nine to five. So I'm thinking I might come back on another Olympic video probably. This might get posted maybe like on a Thursday or Friday. And for those who watch my Real Housewife reviews, again, sorry, not sorry. Those are not going to be on time. Um, I still haven't even watched the episode yet. And that was on Thursday. I just really wish because Bravo is owned by NBC Universal, which also does all the Olympic coverage. I really, really wish they would just like put the Housewife shows on pause during the Olympics because... I feel like most people are watching the Olympics. Even even people like myself who love the housewife shows and all that. I I'm sorry, the Olympics are one and then I can go back on Peacock and watch the um Real Housewife shows later. Sorry. Not sorry. But anyway, um so I'll try to have the Real Housewives up. I think I said in the last video it'll be up on Monday. It's not gonna be up on Monday. Um I'm gonna try to have it up maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll have it before the next episode. So 
no worries on that. It's just I still need time to actually watch it because I still haven't even watched it. Um, but yeah, that does conclude the video. Um, I'm probably going to be posting a little bit more um, just because the Olympics. And then once the Olympics are over with, then we'll go back to the regular scheduled program for the most part until there's another show. Um, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Metal Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye.